Hello everyone, welcome to my course and in this module we are discussing about the Elastic Pool Databases. We have three types of deployment model in Azure SQL, Single Database, Elastic Pool Database and Manage Instance. In a single database, you can deploy a single database with own set of resources. It means that whatever the CPU memory you have assigned is dedicated for that database only. It is an isolated and portable database. In the module number one, we have discussed about the single database. Now in this module, we are more focusing on the elastic pool. A elastic pool is a collection of database. It means that you have a group of two and more database with a shared set of resources at a fixed price. It is a cost effective solution. If you have a unpredictable usage demand, then you can go with the elastic pool. Now, what do we mean by unpredictable usage demand? And the elastic pool is really a cost effective solution that we are going to understand in the upcoming slide. Now let's understand the problem in single database deployment model. Here I have deployed a DB1 and assign a 100 DTU. If you understand this chart, here there are two problems. The most of the time, my resources are idle or unused. It means that my database are not used my DTUs. And the second, the average utilization of my database is less than 5 DTU. It means that I am doing an overpay to assign a high resources. This is a problem number one. And the problem number two, if you assign a lower resources, you compromise with the performance. Now these two problems you can resolve in an elastic pool. So let's understand the elastic pool. Now, if you have similar kind of usage pattern like DB1, you can deploy a multiple databases in an elastic pool with the same resource allocation. So if you see in the image one, I have given a hundred DTU and in image two also, I have given a hundred DTU and I have deployed four databases. So with the same set of resources, you have deployed a multiple database. Again, when the DB1 is consumed the 90 DTU, at that time the remaining database are in the idle stage and all the database, if you see, the average utilization is between 10 to 50 DTU. Now, in over period of time, if you find the DB1 is consumed a more DTU and due to that, the remaining database won't get resources and you find any performance issue, at that time you can remove DB1 from the elastic pool. Now adding and removing a database from elastic pool, it's very easy. So now let's understand how much cost we can save. So here in a single database deployment model, I have deployed a five database with a cost $149 per month per database. The total cost would be $749 to deploy a five database. Now if I convert this single database deployment model to elastic pool database model with the same resources the cost would be 148 dollar it means that the 80 percent cost reduction with the basic tier and if i go with the standard tier the cost would be 223 dollar per month and the cost reduction is 70 percent and in future if you identify the databases having a similar usage pattern you can add in the current elastic pool because the limitation is 200 databases. Now in the demo section, we are going to create an elastic pool and we are going to add and remove the databases from the elastic pool. See you in the demo. Hello everyone. Welcome to my course. And in this video, I will show you how to create elastic pool and how to add and remove databases from elastic pool. Now go to the Azure portal and type SQL Elastic Pool and click Create SQL Elastic Pool. Now as you know that Elastic Pool is a collection of database and whatever the resources you are allocated for that pool are shared across all the databases and here Inside the project detail, I'm not going to change anything. I map the development resource group and in the pool name, I am going to give a name db dev 
pool. And here also I am not going to change my logical server. So as you remember, in the first module we have created one logical server and we have created the singleton database. It means that whatever the resources we are allocated for that database are dedicated for that. Now inside this single logical server, we have a singleton database or a single database as well as we have a pool of database. Now inside the compute and storage, I go with the basic tier. Now here again, in the single database, you call DTU. In an elastic pool database, you have to call EDTU and you can change the DTU configuration based on your database workload. So I go with the minimum 50 DTU, click apply and uh, in the review and create tag, I just validate all the configuration and click create button. Now deployment is started, it will take 2 to 3 minutes. Now the deployment is succeed, click go to resource and you are inside the pool. Now in my this dev, db dev pool, I, right now I do not have any database. So let's create a database and add inside this pool. So here you can see the button create database. and. I am going to create db1 and db2. So let's create it db1 and here everything is disabled. You can't edit it. I go with the local redundant backup and the additional setting I go with the sample database. Review and create. So here you can see it's a pool cost, it's not a database cost. So database deployment is started, let's wait. Now the deployment is completed, go to resource. So now you are in the DB1 configuration. Now go to pool again and create one more database, DB2. Now deployment is completed, go to resource. Now let's connect our database from SSMS. So copy the server name, open the SSMS, enter the server name and credential. Click connect button. Now here you can see the db1 and db2 are available. So inside this one logical server, I have a pool database as well as I have a single database. So let's quickly check the tables. Everything are there. Now let's say in future, if you identify the db dev usage are unpredictable and you want to move from single database to pool database. How you can do this? For that, go to the portal, click the elastic pool and inside the pool, there is a configuration is there. Click the configuration and click the database. Now I want to add my single database into the pool database. So go to the database section and click add database. Here the db dev database is available. Now if you see here the db dev database is our singleton database. Now I want to convert from singleton to pool database. So click the database and apply and save. Deployment is, is succeed. Now go to the database section and you can see here. Let's refresh the configuration again. Go to the overview. Go to the configuration. 
go to the databases and see here now the db dev is a pool database now in future if you have if you have identified due to the db1 workload the remaining database can't get a required resources and you are facing a performance issue so you have decided to remove a db1 database from pool so the process is very simple go to the portal again go to the configure inside the configure go to the database select the db1 database and remove from the pool and save and apply so deployment is succeed let's refresh this page and again go to the database you can see here the db1 is removed from the pool same way if you find any performance issue and if you want to scale up or scale down your data your resources then you can easily do it without any downtime so i hope now you understand how to create a elastic pool as well as how to add and remove a database from elastic pool so please practice and if you have any doubt then just drop me a email thank you very much see you in the next video